Hi folks, this is the main prepper here. I'm doing another gear review today on the Daytrex DX2400F emergency ration. Bottom line up front, do not buy this. And I'm going to tell you why specifically, exactly, and in great detail in just a moment. Before I do, let me start out by saying that whenever we read emergency ration or survival ration, we tend to have an expectation in our mind. I realize that it is a marketing word and that it sometimes it is vague and undefined. That is, there are no actual standards out there for something to be an emergency ration. So technically speaking, they can call this an emergency ration just as much as I could call my cell phone an emergency cell phone because it will, in an emergency, allow me to make a phone call. However, if I market it as emergency cell phone, I would also be able to perhaps capture some of the emergency preparedness market. They would wonder why they're paying so much more for an emergency cell phone when they could in fact get it for the same price as a regular phone. This is essentially what has happened with this ration here in front of me, which is a 2400 calorie ration and it is supposed to be a one-day ration pack. It costs about $10 for one of these, and it weighs about a pound here in my hand. However, insofar as being an actual ration or having enough of the calories that you might need, it also has the minimal calories that you would need to survive uh, if you are an average-sized person. There's where the devil is in the detail, however. I've been uh, not only a professional soldier, but also very athletic for most of my adult life. Uh, I have run uh, seriously and trained for marathons. I have um, been a very serious swimmer and cyclist, uh, competed in weightlifting and bodybuilding competitions. So I'm a little bit more than casually familiar with nutrition, nutritional requirements, and the importance in the human body. During times of stress and emergencies, we need very high doses of vitamins like B and C, and we also need calories that are good calories so that we can produce the energy necessary to sustain us as we exert ourselves in ways we're normally not accustomed to. We also need some of the recuperative power uh, and recuperative properties in many of the vitamins as well as in things like protein because our bodies are going to be uh, getting torn down and they need a lot of opportunity to rebuild. This Daytrex emergency ration in my hand uh, completely fails to meet any of those criteria and I am using their own data which I will share with you here now. I have torn one of these open too by the way to give you an idea of what the contents look like and essentially there are 12 of these small bars wrapped up in a very thin sort of saran wrap and I've eaten one and the flavor uh, not surprisingly is very bland and they're not advertised to be tasting good. Uh, it was edible, but uh, let me share with you what the ingredients are first before I tell you the percentages. These little bars are, and uh, tell me if you can guess what they are. They are made of wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. Yes, if you've done any baking like I have, this is a cookie. That's all it is. And like I said, I ate one and it tasted like a cookie. All right, let's get back to what is in this. And I'm reading off the back of this one here. It has 200 calories in each one of these little packages. And that's what the percentages are going to be for each one of these little squares. 200 calories per. It has three grams of protein in each. And by the way, uh, according to uh, most people that I read and most people that I follow who are athletes, a 150 pound male needs a, that is very active needs about 90 grams of protein a day. So that means you would need to eat 30 of these a day, which would be essentially almost three of these large foil packages. Uh, that would be about 7,200 calories of uh, bad calories too, and I'll explain why these are not good calories in a moment. 27 grams of the carbohydrate that you would need 
It does not give this in terms of percentages, and I won't even bother to go there with them because these carbs are very empty carbs. 0.18% of the sodium you would need. Uh, that means you would need to eat a mountain of these to get all the sodium necessary. It has 9 grams total of fat. It has 7% uh, of the protein, they claim. Well, actually, I would say it has far less than 7% um, if you're athletic and active. However, if you are sedentary and just laying there in a lifeboat waiting for someone to fly over and rescue you, this will give you 7% of the minimum that you need to not die. It has 1% of the vitamin A, meaning you would need to eat 100 of these to get all of the vitamin A requirement. And it has 1% of the vitamin C, 8% of the thiamine, and 5% of the riboflavin, and 4% of the niacin. And that's it. There are no other vitamins or other properties to this. That's it. It's a very, very short list. Very disappointing, especially when you consider that this is a $10 item, just one of these. It's well packaged, that is one thing I will say for it. Uh, the foil uh, did not have tears in it when I got it, it's just a regular type of foil. It looks like it, it might even be a, um, uh, a sort of a mylar. So it's fairly durable and you could probably keep it somewhere uh, in a box or in your bug out bag and as long as you weren't rubbing the outside too much, it would probably hold up. But what are you holding up? You're essentially maintaining this, these little cookie bars here. Uh, there's nothing to them other than that. Very disappointing if you're going to be in an emergency or a bug out situation, which those of you that are in my audience are going to be probably in that latter category. Having been through uh, survival and SEER training and a lot of other training, I can tell you that nutrition is essential. You've heard the axiom, you are what you eat. When you are in a stressful situation as well, you need to be at the best that you can be on your physical and mental state. Obviously, if you are hungry and you are malnourished, you are going to not be thinking or functioning properly. You are going to be subpar. You're going to be operating below level. So for the same amount of money that I spent on one of these, including shipping and handling, I just went down to the store and you can do this too. And the, the brand that's on here doesn't have to be the brand you get. Uh, this is just the brand that I got. I just grabbed the, uh, there are others that are similar to it, but you do want to read uh, the back of the packaging this one that you do. And this one here, I'm going to share with you the contents of one of these. First of all, this makes the claim that this is a meal replacement bar. And let's look at the percentages that are in there. If you're eating three of these a day, consider that. There's 410 calories in here, so if you ate only three of these, you'd be a little bit short on the calories. But listen to what kind of calories they are. They're very good calories. For one, you're getting a third of the daily requirement, or you're getting 31 grams of protein from this, which means if I eat three of these, well, one of these and two of those, I'm getting 90 grams of protein, 91, all right? That is going to be enough for a 150-pound uh, man that's uh, very active. I weigh 200 pounds and I'm very active, so I would probably need a bit more. But certainly I'd be better off with three of these than having to eat, uh, good Lord, having to eat 30 of these to get the same amount. And I wouldn't be getting nearly as many empty calories. I've got... 20% of the daily fat, and most of us have plenty of fat on us, but do consider that when you get into a survival situation, you are going to want to eat all the fats you can get your hands on, especially good fats. But you're also going to need some good vitamins and everything else. Otherwise, you're just you're filling an empty hole in your stomach, and that's all the Daytrex bars are doing. This uh, way, not only are you filling up an empty void, but you're also getting something that's giving you back enough energy to keep you going. It's got 20% uh, of the total fat that you need for the day, 36% uh, of the saturated fat, 9% of the cholesterol that you would need for the day, and again, many of us have enough cholesterol already uh, if we're from the West, 24% of the sodium, 8% of the potassium you would need, 15% of the total carbs, 9% uh, of the dietary fiber, 
And uh, as I discussed earlier, it's got a third of the, uh, of the protein that you would need for a, an active male. Vitamin A, it's got 35%, vitamin C, 35%, calcium and iron, 15%, vitamin E, 30, thiamine, 35, riboflavin, and niacin, 40. Vitamin B6, 35, vitamin B12, 35, folic acid, 40, biotin, 35, pantothenic acid, 35, phosphorus, 25, iodine, 30%, Magnesium, 40%. Copper, 50%. Okay, did you hear most of that in this? No, you didn't. This is a, to use the word that the younger folks use, a fail, okay? Right here, this is a fail, $10 cookie. I will never spend another dime with that company again. Uh, I, I got these for uh, at the commissary for about ten dollars. Uh, if you bought them, I think in a regular store, um, you know, uh, grocery store, you might pay two two fifty a piece. I also recommend that in your uh, bug out in your sear kit or your emergency kit, you get some kind of a multivitamin. It doesn't have to be this brand again. Uh, I, I, as you know, I, I'm a professional soldier. I don't work for any of these companies. I am only doing this uh, sort of as a public service uh, out there to people. And I hate to have to throw a company under the bus, but uh, I'm very irritated with hucksters out there who stick a name on there like emergency ration, knowing that people will buy it and stick it in their gear. And then only when they get out in a disastrous situation, the time when they need it the most, they're going to find that this is a total failure to meet their mission and requirements. So I would throw some multivitamins in there and get some protein bars. For 20 bucks, I got enough to keep me here. Just between these, I can go for two days. Uh, with these supplementing my diet and whatever I can scavenge off the land, I can at least stay healthy. These uh, multivitamins with the vitamin B and C are going to reduce my stress and help me to not get sick. These, eh, they might fill me up and keep me from getting hungry, but if I'm going to spend 10 bucks, I don't want to waste it on something that I can just fill up on. For 10 bucks, I could buy a great big bag of cookies, uh, uh, like industrial size bag of cookies. Okay, folks, this has been the main prepper. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm throwing this one up on Amazon because uh, that's where I bought the product. And I'm very big about uh, if somebody does a good job letting the world know about it. And if somebody is, uh, I believe, taking advantage of other people, ripping them off, or just selling a bad product, I believe that needs to get out there as well. Okay, folks, uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.